In this video, I'm going to share three things that I did to make $25,000 on YouTube so that you can do it too. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Financial Freedom System YouTube channel where I help you upgrade your mindset, money, and more so you can live a life full of financial freedom and purpose. Now, with this video, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics personally because I have seen the incredible things that having and starting and creating and running a YouTube channel can do for you, whether that is in the world of education or that's in the world of finances that I do or that's something else something that you're passionate about, whether that's art or jewelry or makeup or sports, something else. There's so much potential out there for people interested or running already a YouTube channel to really double down and focus in on that. Even when you're watching this video because the world is so connected, the internet and access to the internet is growing all around the world and we're only going to see more opportunity for YouTube channels and creators to really grow and, and further their mission. So that's why I'm excited about this because trust me, when I began everything, I never thought that I would be making a video like this. I never thought that I was going to make $100, let alone $25,000, and that is incredible. I'm going to prove it in just a second, so make sure you stay tuned for that because I know that there are going to be people that are skeptical, skeptical about it and just say you can't just claim that without showing us. I'm going to do that. Um, but it's, it's something I'm really grateful for. Um, and there's three basic takeaways that I know if you watch this video and you start applying those things as simple as they are, you can do some incredible things. And yes, there's so many um, kind of behind the scene things that you need to be doing on YouTube. But with these takeaways, it's really going to create a solid foundation for your success on YouTube. So I want to share basically some of the successes that I have had as I tallied up some of these stats. When I first started, I knew nothing. And I mean that I had never edited a video. I had never filmed a video. I didn't have any of that equipment, um, but I made the simple choice to start. And I've talked about that before, but basically a sports injury really led to me being unable to work out and train for a couple of years. And so as soon as that happened, I had all this free time on my hands. I eventually are like, what am I going to do with my life right now? Not that my identity is tied to sports, but that was a huge part of my life and still is in many ways. At that moment though, I was just kind of in like a shell shock mode where I didn't know what to do. So uh, randomly, and, and this is extremely random, I didn't ever have any inclination to do this, but I knew that the online space was growing. I did watch a lot of YouTube at that time when I first got into it. I was watching some incredible creators and mainly travel content, but I saw an opportunity for me to tie what I do professionally as a high school teacher into this online space. And I went out and I bought a Mac and I bought a, a camera and basically started to teach myself everything that I could to create an online course. That online course showed teachers how to use an app in their classroom as a teaching tool to make videos, to make tutorials like you see all over YouTube with math and science type videos. And um, that was something that really skyrocketed for me. And I'm really grateful that I don't know why I had that inclination to go out and do it, but I'm really grateful that I acted on that. And that's led to a few pretty wild things. I wanna encourage you, I had zero skills and I've grown a lot to where I am. Some of those ways that I've grown is I've got 5.8 million views on YouTube. 5.8 million views on YouTube. That's about a, I've been on YouTube for about five years across two main channels, really two only channels that I've had. Um, that's about just over a million views per year. If you can do that, you can pull in numbers like that. You can do some pretty cool things. I've got 144,000 hours watched across all of my videos on YouTube. So that's an insane amount because again, when I started this, I was happy if I would hit 10 views or 100 views in a video was pretty incredible. Um, but now I have 144,000 hours watched. I don't know what the math is. If somebody can do that for me and comment below how many days that is or how many years that is. Um, I know that number is extremely huge. I've got currently, as of the recording of this video, 18.8 thousand 
subscribers. So almost 19,000 subscribers, basically split evenly between the two channels that I have. And those two channels, one of them is the current one you're watching, Financial Freedom System, where I upload and I, I put content on that as regular as I can. The other video is something that I, uh, the other channel I should say, is something that I haven't uploaded to for a few years. So the fact that both of those are growing at the exact same rate is something that uh, I'm really happy about. And the title of this video, basically, I've made $25,000 just from ad revenue on YouTube alone. $25,000. That is something that can take a long time to get monetized in the very first place. So you could say, oh, that's not that much. You've averaged $5,000 uh, per year. But I look back at my stats and there was a year where I didn't make any money. Right. And I don't even remember the reason why there was a, an issue with monetization at the time. They had, YouTube had made some changes that I was monetized and then I wasn't monetized for about a year. So you take that away. You're making a pretty decent income every single year um, just from YouTube as a side hustle. And I believe the potential is out there to make twenty five thousand dollars a month. For people and that's not me just having that pie in the sky that nice idea being delusional that is definitely the case and what i want to share with you here is a, a few of the ways that i really know you can set up a solid foundation as to how you can do this too so first before the skeptics come at me i want to prove that what i'm talking about is true so you can see here on this channel this is the how to scholar education channel that i have this is where i first started on youtube where i was making content in the areas of like high school science and math because that's what i taught um, and that's kind of the world that i lived in at the time and i was doing some of those things just on my own time i wasn't required to do these for school i was taking my own time to make these tutorial style videos so that they would help again Everything on YouTube is about providing value and getting people to trust you. So I created these videos to help students out there all around the world that were watching and wondering these topics. Maybe they didn't understand the way that their teacher was explaining to the, uh, a topic to them, uh, like chemical bonding. So they were able to watch my videos and it was a resource that they could go back to time after time. And this is something that students could use, parents could use. I've had teachers around the world use these videos as well, and it's really cool for me to see uh, me being rewarded and helping people out there um, in so many different countries. I think that channel has hit like 150 different countries, which is pretty incredible. But you can see the lifetime that I've had here, and I'm going to refresh the page, and you're gonna see, and I'll grab a calculator to really make sure I get these numbers right, $15,779.50 dollars and 15 cents just from that channel alone and there's been times where i've made nothing as you can see here and there's been times when i was making like 30 dollars a day right just from videos that i created and uploaded online and i'd be at work maybe and i'd be making that money or maybe i'd be sleeping and i'd be making that money and it's consistently coming in day after day, month after month, year after year. So just from this channel is pretty incredible. And if you go deeper into the stats about some of the videos, well, I've made over $4,000 just from one video in particular, and that number is increasing every single day. But that's not why we're here. I just want you to understand what is possible. The other channel that I have is here. It's obviously Financial Freedom System. I started out as a different channel and kind of rebranded it as I got really interested in talking about mindset and money specifically and then I wanted to share the other things that I find interesting in my life related to those areas and it wasn't until like 2019 that uh, that channel was monetized and it's just been over the last few years that I am hitting views with this and there's been some ups and there's been some downs um, but at the exact same time sometimes this channel makes me a higher amount of about $21 a day right? So 21 bucks a day is 21 bucks a day that I didn't have. And that compounds over time as well. Um, you want me to prove it. So I'll refresh this and you can see I've got the number $9,837.35. So when I take those two numbers and I add them together, I get $25,616.05 
probably not going to be able to see that on the calculator, but that is the reality either way. So as someone with absolutely no filmmaking skills, I didn't know anything about planning a video or editing one or uploading one. Any of that stuff is all stuff that I've learned and I've taught myself and I've really developed a pretty efficient system, I think, that I'm now able to share with other people. But as someone who had no skills in that area, I think I've done pretty good for myself. So what can you take away from this video? Well, I've got three things that I really wanna focus on and I wanna share with you. The very first thing is you've got to take a risk. And I wanna just share my story with taking risks related to online content because for me, it is weird, just a weird dynamic as a high school teacher. I live in a small town. I love the town that I live in. I love the school that I live in. I love the parents and the students, um, but there's just a different dynamic there as a teacher. And if you are one, you can relate. Anytime students see you in the grocery store, they act all uh, spooky or all weird because of the fact that you're not in the school, that you are a teacher, you're a person who needs to eat. So where do you go? You go to the grocery store. And that's just like a foreign concept for some people. And when they see you out, at maybe the hockey rink or at the football field or something like that it's like whoa Mr. Wheaton's there like what's going on and I'll talk to them I'll say hi and stuff like that but it's a different ball game when you are putting yourself online you're recording videos you're recording videos in the education space okay yeah cool that make makes sense a little bit that's his job that's what he does but when you start recording videos about things that you're interested in and things that you're passionate about like investing like online business and you have a channel named financial freedom system and people can see you and 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 who you are and what you do it's an interesting kind of challenge and there you're kind of debating like should i do this should i not um, are people going to make fun of me? Are my students going to make fun of me? Are the parents going to talk about it? There's so many different things. Are other teachers or other uh, education people going to talk about that as well? Those are all questions that were kind of floating around, not in the back of my head, but in the front. And they were hitting me every single day when I first started, or even in the first kind of 20 or so uploads, it was like, hey, what are people going to think about this by putting myself out online? Uh, that was something as someone typically who allows in my kind of like my past life and, and who I used to be allows risk to control my actions or allows what other people might think about me to control what I do. Um, that is something that you just have to, to push past. And it's not easy sometimes. And there's some times that you might be really uncomfortable doing that. And you might have a lot of questions, but the earlier that you can push past and take those risks, the more that you're going to be rewarded. I firmly believe that that's been my story. I've only got positive feedback from every group that I just named there before. And uh, it's also really rewarding in more ways than just finances like this video is talking about. The second thing you need to do is I think you need to focus more on the content value that you have rather than the production value, at least to start. Because remember, I had zero skills. I knew nothing about any of this stuff and I had to teach myself. So the fact that I've come this far in five years, I think is incredible because yes, I've got a full-time job. Yes, I like to do sports and play sports and train on my own. Yes, I like to coach. In fact, I've coached four sports teams pretty regularly over the kind of the, the course of these past few years. And um, it's not like a once a week thing. It's, it's like a daily commitment. And I share that with you because I am busy. I've got my life outside of school. I've got my personal life, relationships. I've got so many other things as so many people do. But the reality is when you can focus on just creating content and providing value, which is what it's all about, providing value to an audience that trusts you and that trust continues to develop, that's when you're going to have a lot of success because yes, production value is important. What camera you have is important. The sound and microphone you have, the lighting that you have, where you record your videos, the backdrop, all that stuff matters. If you've got graphics popping up on your screen, yes, cool, great effects. But what matters most 
regardless of where you are in your journey, if you're at the beginning, if you are at the end, if you're somewhere in between, is that your content is providing value. Because you know, and I know, we've watched videos of people sitting with a phone leaned up against a bunch of textbooks, and those videos have millions of views because of the value that it gives people, because of what people walk away from watching your video with, in those scenarios. And so if you can focus on providing value and learning the skills that you need to learn over time, those are going to only grow, they're only going to develop, and they're only going to improve. At that point, that's when you step up the production value. But I'm telling you right now, I can show you a drone in this um, cabinet that's here. I've used it once and I've owned it for like six or seven months. And that's embarrassing to talk about it, so I'm going to use it in my next video. But the reality is you have so many things that can, can stop you from taking action, right? Oh, I don't have the drone or I don't have this new camera or I don't have the 360 camera or I don't have whatever ex excuse you really wanna make. You've got everything you need if you have a smartphone. You've got everything you need. Now you can step up your game, step up your production value, and that's only going to help. But what matters most is that you focus on delivering value and quality content. Something that your, your, your audience has a problem or they're interested in something and you are the path you're the answer to giving them that solution. So you're connecting them between those two areas. And the further and the most and the more that people can see you as the expert or the connector or the person with that answer or solution, the more they're gonna keep coming back to your channel. The third thing here is you also need to make sure that you just do it and then you do it consistently. And that's the simplest tip that I can give you and it's the best tip that I can give you as well. Because so many people think, oh, we're gonna start a YouTube channel. We're gonna start this account on social media, whatever platform you use it on. How long do they upload to that for? They might make three videos and then they're done, right? So you need to do it. Act on those ideas that you have. I wanted to start a YouTube channel that helped people understand math and science. There has there have already been thousands of those channels out there when I decided to start my channel, but because I had that idea, I took a risk, I acted on it, and I made sure that I provided value, I have been rewarded as a result. And with this exact same thing, when you are looking at taking the idea and making it come true and making it come to fruition, you need to do it once, you need to act on the, that idea, and then you need to continuously, consistently, in a sustainable way, act. And that's gonna provide value to people consistently, even if that's a video a week, a video every two weeks. Maybe you are up and in, in a place where you love this stuff, you're learning, 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 and you wanna make a video every two days, and you put a few videos out a week. If that's sustainable for you, go ahead and do it. But what happens here is you've got to do it, then you've got to do it consistently because nobody's going to, to, to come back and subscribe and wanna watch a one-hit wonder. You've got one video on your channel. It's the best video people have ever seen. They're gonna watch it once, maybe twice, and then they're gonna forget about it. If you're serious about creating a YouTube channel, there's three steps. You've got to take the risk. You've got to then focus on providing content value more than production value, at least to start. And then you've got to do it once and then do it consistently. Trust me. It's not about the skills, it's about learning and starting from where you are and then developing the consistency and then continuing to deliver value. So I know that this video has helped people even if you look at this video and you walk away and these are three simple tips you're like, oh, those are simple, I wish I didn't take those. Prove it to me. If you can do those exact three things that I talked about, and you can do those consistently, you're going to have success on YouTube. And there are other areas as a foundation that we can build off of. One of those areas I'm going to share here is something that I offer for people that are serious about growing their passions and their business with YouTube. I have some coaching that I offer people. I show you exactly how I know what I'm talking about because I knew nothing about videos when I started and since then, I have 5.8 million views on YouTube. 
144,000 hours watched, 18.8 thousand subscribers, and I've made $25,000 just from ads on YouTube, let alone monetizing what I do in other ways. With my YouTube coaching, I'm giving you a free business audit if you click this button below, I've left the link to this down below as well. So you can just jump on this website. You can click the button. I'm going to send you a free business audit, kind of review, send you some tips and tricks that you might want to try on your own YouTube channel. And also with our coaching sessions, I'm going to give you specific things that I have learned, that I've developed myself, that I've really put together in this system that's going to help you plan great YouTube content, film professional looking videos, edit and upload your content in a way that is optimized for YouTube and Google, which are two of the biggest search engines, the two biggest search engines in the world, and promote and grow your brand. I'm going to do all of this stuff. If you have questions about it, let me know. But I wanna share this testimonial here from Mike, who is a comedian and a YouTuber. I recently took the YouTube branding coaching session with Matt and it was great. Matt made it very easy to learn the ins and outs of the YouTube filming, editing, uploading, and promoting of videos. It was extremely informative and I learned a lot. Matt answered any and all of my questions I had and was in no rush to move along if I didn't understand something. That's something that I pride myself in to make sure that we really have those checks for understanding as we go through. I highly recommend it to anyone that is serious about growing their YouTube channel and getting better at learning what works and what doesn't. Because in that scenario, I have spent hours upon hours upon hours going through watching videos, learning, trial and error, so many different things, including mentorship where I've paid um, to learn from some of the best people that are out there, right? And I've spent so much time learning what works and I've spent a lot of time learning what doesn't work. So my goal with YouTube coaching is that I can really help you achieve the success that I have had in much less time. So if you're interested in those YouTube coaching sessions, um, let's just jump on a free call and let's talk, right? You can get a free business or YouTube audit by clicking the button below, just enter your information in there. It's free and then we can have a conversation. I can learn what your goals are and then specifically if you want to jump into a coaching session that we can set that uh, so I trust that this video helped you and if it did, please hit the thumbs up button. Go check out my link to YouTube coaching sessions down below and go ahead and click the subscribe button if you want to learn how you can live a life full of financial freedom.